everybody this is Pookie again I got a request for something that I guess we kind of take for granted whenever you see a video and you see someone's name across it that's called watermarking uh, if they if they have it like uh, embedded into the video so you see it all the way through so um, just real quickly I want to show you how to do that I'm going to use a picture that I took uh, in May of this year of a frog it's a fantastic little froggy and uh, there's a number of ways that you can do this uh, but for the most part all you're doing is overlaying a track of text so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to our media generators and we're gonna pick text and I'm gonna go with the white text first with the clear background okay now you can watermark like this and just leave the text all over it. Here, let's change that. And you can adjust the size. We'll take that down nice and small. And then we're going to go ahead and move it. We'll put it in the corner here. That way it's visible throughout uh, the little picture there. Now that's okay but sometimes uh, having something as bold as that kinda distracts from the video when people are watching it so what you can do is you can go to the edit generated media let's pull this up here a little bit we can go to the properties of the text okay and you can lower down the opacity right here that makes it a little more difficult to see but makes it much better uh, when you're when you're watching the video it's not as distracting another thing that you might want to do is lower the transparency all the way down okay now you can't see it at all go to effects choose draw outline there you go now it's in yellow I prefer black myself Okay. Now it's still in the video, but now you can't hardly see it at all. You can uh, you can adjust the width, make it a little bit more bold. Maybe take the feathering out or add more feathering, whatever uh, suits your needs. You can also take this here, uh, leave the width just barely there, and then put a little bit of a drop shadow. Well, let's make the drop shadow white like that and that gives you kind of a 3d effect here so I'm going to maximize this all the way now you can still see it it's still there you can still tell what it says but it's almost completely transparent I hope that helps you that's just a quick tip I want to show you one other thing here uh, with doing the watermarking let me just take this out of here We'll go back here. We'll take our text just like we did before. Okay. We've got it up there. Change it to say whatever you want. Okay. Change my placement. We'll move it down here. Change our size. Drop that down to say 36. Guess I need to move it a little bit more. And then instead of going through and editing the individual features of the text, if you go up to the top of your generated media, you'll see where it says opacity is at 100%. If you just left click and pull down, that will allow you to make this over here transparent so watch the letters here I'm moving the opacity all the way up I'm moving it down right now it's at uh, 27 percent it's barely there and it only took a half second or so uh, 
uh, to do that. So I hope that helps you, and um, thanks again for watching.